This artist, her name is Flage. I believe I said that right. Uh, and she's actually dope. I can play a couple seconds of her freestyle. But she just signed a shoe deal with Puma, right? Signs a shoe deal with Puma, which is something you can't do as an, an athlete prior to the NIL situation um, that they've had. I think it's been maybe two years, three. Um, now, I haven't been able to do that. So now she can do that. That's great. Cool. A college athlete actually can sign. But why this is important to me or interesting to me is because she's a hooper, but she's also a rapper. Yeah. Right. And Rock Nation, you know they got Rock Nation Sports. Yeah. And then obviously Rock Nation is Rock Nation. So one, I wonder how far ahead did they see that coming? I'm sure they were some of the people lobbying to get NIL resolved. Yeah, yeah, 100%. So yeah, and now you have both sides. We already know how close culture and music, uh, not co- culture and sports are in general. Well, shoot, culture is music and sports, damn near. Yeah. Right. The arts and sports, entertainment. So you're able to start seeing a lot of these college athletes possibly uh, become artists which actually are so you know johnny two phones right yeah you know he played ball I didn't know that. yeah he played ball and then obviously he's johnny two phones now all right he quit just to commit to the to the music uh, shout okay. out to johnny yeah, shout we, out to him. we know j cole play <laughs> ball yeah all right so we'll start instead of finding the ex-athletes we're going to see the athletes be athletes while they're moving yeah, right. and I was just looking at that. That's what made this interesting. I just peeped the last line where it says she's just she's going to start her freshman year, so she's not out of high school yet, or she or I think she's technically just started because the season is you know basketball started. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah, this is you people sign these deals. In, yeah, in high school, bro. That's crazy, bro. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> like, hey, man. I wonder. I, mean, I think I think I saw somebody who might have an NIL in middle school, bro. In middle school? Oh yeah. Yo, sports. You want to talk about music when it comes to A and R? Sports is ridiculous, man. They watch, they watch all the way up. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That I did know. Yeah, yeah. that'd be like your 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 sixth grade games yes. and shit. You know what yes. I'm saying? Cheering you on. Yeah, yeah. it's been um, you know plenty of stories where. This such and such is committed to Duke, and he's in ninth grade. He got four more years, yeah. and sometimes those people switch up. But like, I think this is really interesting because this is a new type of competition for artists, or a new type of way in for artists, mm. right? Because oh, yeah. we've always known that school is a great space and place to market your music, right? And the the problem often times that people face is getting beyond school yeah right oh you can create a a a song about your school that blows up within the school and that's pretty easy to do now how do you go beyond that right that's pretty much the struggle that most people face johnny has done it well golden has done it well but both of them literally went their route song about the school at some point and then take off yeah flip it. right flip it but you gotta know how to flip it the thing is though you add athlete to the mix. Like, athlete is like the equivalent. It's like an A&R. It's, it's just that inside network where you can influence so many people mm. so easily. Because once you get something in the locker room and make it a part of sports culture, you got other athletes that come on to that really quickly. You have the rest of the school that are influenced by athletes. So for me to not only be an artist because I like to rap and just do my own music but for me to now be supported truly from a label standpoint Mm -hmm. that's different yeah because I imagine I I don't know this I would have to look it up but I wonder if people actually could have signed an artist deal this is you know a combination right it is rock nation they do everything but I wonder could an artist a, a, a basketball player or a football player whatever you are have a record deal in college before it's a good point. Because it's not a yeah. it doesn't make you a professional basketball player, right? Yeah, it makes right? you yeah, a professional recording artist. Yeah. So I, they, and they are allowed to have professional jobs while that that right there might be the key. No. Okay. Yeah. Maybe Sorry. that's a part of it. Yeah. Like it's almost like a title, man. You know how many professional artists and how many signed artists yeah. <laughs> <laughs> aren't even doing as well as unsigned artists? Like, I don't know. That's that's a weird space. If you yeah. look at music the way you look at it, but they probably look at it as a black and white thing. Yeah, and I would imagine too they don't want the brand attention going to the label. You know, it's like, oh, this 
we would much rather your celebrity isn't be affecting the school and our yeah. ticket sales rather than be like, hey, look at what this Atlantic Records artist is doing. I, I could imagine that's a part of it. That is, hey, that's that was a part of the issue that <laughs> people had. It's like, yo, you can monetize the names on our jersey, but we can't monetize the yeah. name on our jersey. I can't even sign somebody and like let somebody pay me fifty dollars for this thing. It's technically yeah. wrong and it's illegal that somebody want to buy the shirt off my back or whatever because I made a game winning shot in it. So. Yeah, I, I don't know. That that might be part of it. Maybe you couldn't even be a, a artist. Yeah, I'm saying, has there ever been a, a has there ever been a college athlete that got far in music? Because most of the athletes I'm familiar with that get into music, they're usually professional by the time we, we at least start to hear about it seriously, or they start or they're professionals in their sport before it sounds like they start like putting out that they do that. So I'm trying to think, has there ever been like a college athlete? I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I don't and know. that's making me think because it, it, when you say it out loud, it doesn't make sense. But you think about it, like, bro, you mean tell me of all these basketball, you know, what I'm saying these basketball teams, these football teams, these baseball, soccer. There ain't one motherfucker on there trying to rap or sing. Oh, we know it is. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. That's we the know, point. Yeah, that's, that's why I'm, she's here. Yeah, I'm thinking about it now. It's like, damn, it, that hasn't made sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. it's, it's a hot better. There are instant influences. Who wouldn't use that? To, at least try to fill that music, but now it's piecing yeah. together. They can't, bro. Like, oh, they couldn't. You know, they, <laughs> they couldn't. It's a that's crazy. It's a crazy system, man. Because they also, you know, outside of the financial aspect of it, they put it around like focus, right? Yeah. Do, are you committed to this or not? Yeah. So you got to leave. Remember, like blue play, blueface play uh, college football for yeah, okay, a year yeah. or two or something like that, right? So. There's never been at the same time that I've seen personally. I'm sure there maybe there has been somebody do it. Hey, y'all put it in the comments. Help us so yeah, we can just have another yeah. topic, yeah. right? But one, her freestyles though. So y'all, I'm just say y'all go check her out. Like we're not gonna play like because I don't even know we might even get copyrighted or whatever. But like uh, do, her doing it at the same time and being able to play that game, we're gonna be able to see more of that type of stuff. And it's going to be interesting for the people who are artists and and they don't have to make the decision early on. So go get your free money in college, have deals, which is money, money. You, you're talking about like million dollar, multi-million dollar deals that are happening for these college students go before they go into college. Yeah. Right. And and then you can. I don't know. Incubate your artistry under the safety net of school. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. That's, <laughs> so she's really like the pro. She's gotta be like the prototype of that that whole model. One of them. Yeah, one of them. I'm surprised that it's a a woman as well. Not because you know a woman can't do something like that, but it's just you typically don't find people doing. Typically. Women are later on in the curve. Like, it's like, oh, just naturally, they go to male athletes, mm. right? And a lot of the males are already like rapping, okay, or, or trying to do some music. We're going to sign this and we're going to start here. But to ha- take on an artist and support her in these two ways and have her in this in these type of outlets where she's always already doing interviews, because that clip I shared, right? That's an interview for her music yeah. and rapping. Like to actually put her in that circuit and, and lead that way is really interesting. She's dope as hell. Um, everything I've heard, by the way. But let me take a quick second to say if you're an artist trying to blow your music up, or if you're a manager, a music professional in general trying to help an artist blow their music up, I have something that's a game changer for you, and it's completely free. As you may know, we've helped multiple artists go from zero to hundreds of thousands of streams. We've helped multiple artists go from hundreds of thousands to millions of streams, chart on Billboard, go viral, all of that stuff. And we've now made the way we've branded multiple artists and helped them go viral completely free, step by step in Brandman Network. All you have to do is check out brandmannetwork.com. You apply. It's completely free. But the thing is, we're not going to let everybody in forever. So the faster you apply, the better your chance of getting accepted. Brandmannetwork.com. Check it out. Back to the video. It's, it's dope to see that they're actually, it's going to be a woman that's early on on this curve versus the opposite. Um, so, all right. I think this is something we, I'm actually going to like look a lot deeper into. I think we should actually kind of follow the athlete artist mm-hmm. thing a lot more because it goes back to culture mixing. Remember? Yeah. Uh, we talked about everybody is the artist competition now. <laughs> you got the athlete artist, you got the politician, you got the the regular content creator and everybody's making some type of music, but now you got these people being support. Well, shoot, now everybody's being supported by the infrastructure, right? 
that's the that's the thing that makes it so crazy for uh, artists to deal with. Like, yeah. I could be an artist who likes to ball, and you got like the Crew League where Chris Brown and all these other people play with their teams, but they're not playing on NBA games. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're not yeah. fighting with it. Like the NBA players ain't competing them with, for NBA money. But you got artists competing with all these other types of people for Atlantic Records money. Yeah. You know Anybody I mean? with some like, social media attention. Anybody bro. with social media. That part is crazy, man. Yeah. It, and it's just making me think. Like the whole athlete thing is crazy. But I'm thinking about this random TikToker I found like two weeks ago. I think he's like a golfer or something. He was signed to Vayner Media, but he's in college. And I remember thinking at the time, like, I remember it didn't click then. I was like, oh, he's on, he's in college on, you know, Vayner Media. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, so even they're starting to see that. And they, well, I mean, I'm gonna guess they probably like they probably been lobbying for it and been fighting for it in the back. Yeah, because so, you know he got Vayner Sports. Yeah, exactly. Too, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking about so he has Vayner Sports. Jay Z got you know that side of everything. So it's like, are we gonna fight for this shit so we can be the first ones to get these people that can take advantage of it? Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be ugly, bro. Because it's such a, I don't know, it's it's gonna be bad, bro. I think for artists because like, bro, being a a big sports player immediately makes you like influential. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, almost immediately. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. you, you get a strong head start. Yep. Especially if you, I mean, like her narrative, right? Was like, oh, we we're not taking the eh ones. We taking the ones that's already building some celebrityism and within the sport they do. So that's an easy flip at that point, right? Mm-hmm. Like you already got X amount of tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of people paying attention to you. Yeah, bro. It's about to, the game about to be ugly, bro. It's about to be. It's gonna be real. But in a good way, you know what I'm saying? People like us, a good way. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to be great. Yo, and it, I mean, it's beautiful because you've seen so many times careers get fumbled that were possible in terms of like sports stars who wanted to be in music and vice versa because the infrastructure wasn't clear. It was that one or the other. But now VaynerMedia knows how to monetize culture, mm-hmm. right? That's what we do, all right? So the system is there, full funnel. Rock Nation, they know how to monetize and navigate culture. So we can easily slide you from this athlete to that side of the culture versus being, again, two separate companies. Oh, yeah, you're doing what you're doing now. Now you got to go find a record label. So all the development is clean throughout yeah. the entire process, man. And, and I, it just clicked again, bro. Like the, the brand narrative they, they're building out. That's why the first thing I saw of her, like heavy, was that freestyle clip. You know what I'm saying? Her freestyle oh, yeah. I was like, let's go ahead and start. Setting the foundation, bro. Like, yo, she's a dope rapper, right? Like yep. you said, like, this is a music interview, but she, she made sure to throw that narrative in there. Right. Spin it. Yeah, it's like they're literally planting the seeds now. It's, like, it's going to be interesting to see, like, where she's at and, like, because, I mean, they don't, you know, she getting her pushed in the holiday time. You know, we already had that, that whole talk about where it's mm-hmm. going to be. But it's going to be interesting to see, like, what she looks like for her around like, the summer. You know what I'm saying? Right. Especially, like, what, because basketball season up around with over by right. the top of spring. Yes. What is it going to yeah. look like yeah. when? In between seasons, mm-hmm. yeah. But she also gonna have the whole season to build the attention, come off the season, be fresh on it, right? Good or bad, because the season is in it. So that's like, so that to me it will be the start of the rollout when the season's over with. Especially if you win, that's definitely gotta be the start of the rollout. If you lose, yeah. you know, maybe like a week or two later, you know what I'm saying? Kick, kick <laughs> take the a rollout, break, you know, you know, take a little feel break. bad for a second. <laughs> yeah, you know what let I mean? that be the narrative for a yeah. while, and then get back into it. <laughs> All right. But it's so like either way, bro. Like yeah, coming off of season top of spring to then go into the summer rollout. With like that behind you for the last six, seven months, yeah, that's gonna be wild. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna it, it really take time. Oh my gosh! And another thing, if I think about from a company standpoint, if you're getting both sides in that regard, and look, I could be wrong where technically they might not have the artist side of it, right? Yeah, technically, yeah. they might not. I don't know, yeah. right? So let's put that out there. But we still know what's up, right? This yeah. is Rock Nation. They're, not, they're gonna want to. <laughs> it only makes sense in some ways, you know what I mean? Um, and the resources, look, how did she get here, right? It, she, matter of fact, let me see, sign, rock star. Yeah, like it just makes sense. She's probably in some way involved, or at least they made that a part of the sale. Hey, we have this access, mm-hmm. right? You know what it is over here. Right. Yeah. From a company standpoint, bro, how hard is it to monetize an artist? Scale of one and ten, like a like a seven and a half, eight at least. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And how long does it take typically to be able to monetize an artist? Like I sign an artist, they're they're developing, and then yo, we can seriously seriously start making that money back. I feel like if you're lucky, like two or three years if you're lucky. You know As a constant, yeah. like in in a lot of cases, it really is that, right? Yeah, we we yeah. see the pop, but like that's it, right? Yeah. Two or three if you're lucky. 
I was probably say five, six. You know what I'm saying? If you one of the unlucky few. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, you you still the lucky few if you pop yeah, five right, or six. Yeah, like, you're right, that's true. Yeah, yeah. they have a yeah. real career. Most people never, right? <laughs> so if that's happening, I now damn near can monetize immediately from the athlete side. Yeah. Wow, I'm waiting for this money to be made from the artist side. Or even figuring the artist side out. We yeah, know figuring what, yeah, out. They're going to have to go through with that. Exactly. Yeah. They're yeah. still developing. And maybe look, maybe there's an L completely. Who knows? But that even from a business standpoint makes a lot of sense. Because so, I don't have to wait, worry about all those things. And while you're an athlete, it's funny. It probably creates extra because you it's now a novel thing that you're an artist. Mm-hmm. Right? So it's attractive because you're not graded by the same you know, criteria as somebody who's not an artist. So you look more successful than, I don't want to say more successful than you are. It's just not great. It looks easier. Same. Yeah. It looks easier. Yeah. From the other side. They right. have their own tribulations. They have to go through the artist athletes or the athlete artists, but it definitely looks easier yeah. from the outside looking in. Right. Yeah. Right. So like you come out with a song, it's almost fun that you came out with. Mm-hmm. Not, people don't judge it as hard because this isn't the only thing we're judging you on. So, there's all these benefits to that as an athlete, but again, as a company, if I can begin to monetize with these brand deals with Puma, all right, like this is how you know Rock Nation, man. Like, come on now, Puma, right? This is all, this is rock or whatever other type of deals that you might be monetizing this personality from outside of just your regular stuff, but the things that additionally come from um, music as well. Well, which brings me another question. Like, if I could do that, and then finally when the music stuff pops out, that's a beautiful situation. You take away, again, so much risk that comes from music. And everybody's been waiting time and time, like year after year after year, figuring out ways to decrease the risk of an artist. Like, artists, y'all don't know. Look, I get deals have been historically really bad, but y'all also have to understand that, like, there's a high, high risk historically. It's a lower risk. That's why deals are, are become are are better. That's mm-hmm. actually why it's like, oh yeah, because we can A and R a little bit better. We can look at data. We yeah. can. We didn't have to pick you up until a certain point, right? We yeah. didn't have to pick you up from um, until a certain point. There's all these other factors that put people in a position to actually offer better deals. It doesn't mean there's not people offering trash deals. That's always going to happen. Like that, <laughs> people are always going to get in where they fit in. There's going to be those characters, but. A huge part of it is literally just where the marketplace is. People can make smarter decisions. And on top of that, like, how can I make, uh, again, minimize that that risk? So, yes, I came on this t- uh, this TikTok artist. The shit already has a million streams from TikTok. We're not starting from zero. Let me get that single up off them mm-hmm. and get that. Or let me get that single up off them. And f- but a part of that, I'm signing him. So hopefully he comes up with something else. Yeah. But this single is going to at least get me to break even. So I'll, he's not as much of a risk, right? Yeah. This isn't a single, but this this being an athlete is in some ways equivalent to being a single. Probably even better in some ways yeah. than being a single that has some momentum. Yeah, you know? Like I said, the, mon- the, the monetization route is already there. So it's like we can literally cover that gap where we're losing money on you, on your music brand by just Maybe not hyper focus on the athlete brand, but we have the option to if we need to, right? If yeah. shit start getting dry, hey man, I know you want to put this merch out and go on tour, but let's get some more of these jerseys out. You know what I'm saying? Like right. first, like let's let's get that stacked out first, and yeah. then flip it from there. So it, it's it's interesting, bro. Like like thinking of it that way, because like I said, I wasn't aware that they were kept, even kept out the competition like that. I always thought it was just like you know, because you you meet so many athletes and they want to be artists. <laughs> right, like I feel like that's a yeah. secret desire of like damn near every athlete. Yep. So I always thought they were just keeping themselves out of the game because of the love for the sport. I didn't know they literally couldn't hop in the game. Now that that door is wide open, bro, no, it's gonna, it's gonna be ugly. Yeah, it's gonna be a, <laughs> a very very interesting. Mix, we just need man. one to hit that actually got really really top music. Like usually they're like at max like okay, you know what I'm saying? Or good is probably like the highest bar personally I've right. seen from artists in that world. I think that we get one that. Cracks the quality aspect of it, right? Like, and has yeah. this machine behind him, bro. It's gonna be bad. Pop out with a hit, hit. Yeah, it's gonna be ugly, bro. That's gonna be something. <laughs> that is gonna be something. Yeah, I mean, we you know we've seen the prototypes. Deion Sanders dropped his track. It wasn't really a good song, you know. what I mean, his music wasn't good, but None of them ever are, you know, <laughs> yeah. be but like, it was entertaining, yeah. right? It was entertaining. It'd Shaq, be great for the moment. Shaq arguably had like some solid stuff, like his track with Biggie, thirty years you know ago, I mean? hey, thirty years ago, <laughs> and. Yeah, it was some 
pretty <laughs> solid music. Alonzo Ball is like one of the more recent artists that I can think of. Oh, we get a good athlete His freestyle was, at least yeah. once a year. You know athlete saying? freestyles. Just yeah. better at more there's better athlete freestyles than athlete music. Yeah, that, that is a fact. They're good at maintaining the image for like long enough for it to be interesting. And then once it comes <laughs> to like the super long term work aspect of it, I think that's what we start to lose. Right. A lot of them. Yeah, because it's different. It's a it's, different yeah, type of work. Like, it's like I wake up, you know, I go on this court, this field. I'm that nigga. I'm top 50, whatever. To now have to go back to the music side where I'm one of many over here. You know what I'm saying? Like the whole big fish, small pond thing, small fish, big pond. Right. That can't feel good. Nah. <laughs> nah, it can't. It can't. It's like, now I just made a quarter million over here. I checked my Spotify streams. I made $36. Bro. Now I, can't go back. <laughs> I can't go back to that. So I get it. I get it. Wow. Yeah. But, yeah. That's just going to be interesting, bro. Like I said, like built in influencer base, bro. You just got to keep you going long enough. Yeah, starting up from ground zero is, is definitely hard when you <laughs> when you already used to that upper level.